Oh, so close. Welcome to the kickoff for this year's 2016 Smelly competition. It's going to be a blast. I'm so glad you can make it. My name is Caden Weil. The Smelly competition is all about you learning more about how cool STEM and robotics can be. Smelly has the meaning itself too. It stands for Science and Mechanical Engineering Lego League for Youth competition. It's going to be a blast and I know you're going to love what we have in store. Here, I'm so bad at throwing these rings all over the place, I bet you'll be better at it than I am. So why are we here? Well, besides being where I go to school every day, this is the venue for 2016 Smelly Competition, Raysbeck Aviation High School. Skunk Works has a history of excellence. We've been at the World Championship for the past 10 years, and we're gonna keep that streak going. We've won a ton of blue banners, but at our core, we're about more than just succeeding on the field. In fact, we wanna make sure that we're passionate, having impact, and doing it with excellence, everything we do. We know that robotics is cool and fun, but if we don't have a greater impact on our community, then it's not worth anything at all. That's why we've included awards as an integral part of the Smelly competition. When you get impacted and share your passion with your friends at school, that is what we love for you to see. Here at the Smelly competition, there's more ways to win than just on the field. We have amazing awards for every team. One of the most enthusiastic awards goes to the team that shows spirit not for just themselves, but for everyone. They realize that at the end of the day, we all go home winners, having learned more about ourselves and about robotics. That's the Spirit Award, and we can't wait to give it out to the most enthusiastic team. Another award goes to a team that has an amazingly creative aspect of their robot. Whether or not it did well in the field, it was fun, and they thought outside of the box to get there. Finally, there are some awards that go to you if you were amazingly impacted by the Smelly Competition and were able to share that with the people around you. When you are able to share how you've been affected by robotics, that's at the end of the day what we're all about here at the Smelly Competition, and we're gonna award you for that. That's one of the most prestigious awards that we can give out. Besides all of these awards, there's many others, so don't be don't feel bad if you don't fit into one of those categories. We got something for you too. Hi there, my name is Caden Weil and this is Ring Fling, your 2016 Smelly Competition game. Ring Fling is played on a four foot by four foot playing field. In each of the corners, you have two small rings. On each side of the field, there's a double post. And on this double post, you have larger rings. Now the small rings may be manipulated by hand for no penalty, but if you touch one of the larger rings, you lose some points. Also around the field are some short posts. Now on the short posts, they can easily be moved around the field and if rings are on them, they earn you some points. In the center, you have a quadruple post. Points are scored for putting rings on the quadruple post. Taking a small ring and putting it on a short post, then pushing it to the center square will net you 10 points. For every small ring on the middle post at the end of the game, you get 50 points. For every large ring on the middle post at the end of the game, you get 100 points. That's a lot of points. If you knock over a side post during play, you pay a 10 point penalty. It is then removed from play, and any rings on it also are removed from the game. If you touch, a short post, when it's not in one of the designated interaction zones, you pay a 25 point penalty and it too is removed from play. If you touch your robot when it's not in the corner, you pay a 5 point penalty. 
If you knock over the middle post during your game, it's 100 point penalty. So you better not do that. When your robot is in an interaction zone, you can touch a small ring by hand. However, at no point during the game can you touch a large ring by hand. Doing so will cost you a 10 point penalty and that ring will be removed from the game. Wow, that was an amazing game, wasn't it? I know you already have a bunch of amazing ideas, but right now we got something else to attend to. Each club was given a starter kit. Let's open up and see what's inside. So that you can simulate the game and practice and prepare for the competition, your starter kit, which you can open now, comes with two base pieces. These base pieces, you screw in the bottom foundation pieces. By the way, there's instructions on how to do all of this included in your kit. From there, these two bases allow you to create your four-way piece or your shorter piece. Let's put all these together. Also found in your kit are four small rings and four big rings. So you can practice all the way on how to do each and every one of the challenges. Besides making the four-way piece, you can also exchange it out and use your assortment of PVC pipe to make a two-way piece, which fits on the same piece. It's gonna work great. We have the full kit ready to go here, ready for you to compete in this game. Now, it's your chance. It's your opportunity to go and create the best robot that you possibly can, having a bunch of fun, learning even more, and at the end of the day, making a difference. I've been Caden Weil. Thank you for listening, and I can't wait to see you on December 3rd. Stay smelly.